The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. How early should you plant soybeans? Should you plant soybeans before corn? Omafra Soybean Specialist Horse Bonner has been planting soybeans in April for a couple of years now uh, to assess the value of chasing that early window, and he joins me now. Hi, Horst. Hey, uh, thanks for joining me on Soybean School. Yeah, great to be here. Nice to see you, my friend. Hey, let's uh, talk about the timing question. You know, um, how early should we plant? Um, It's a question, you know, we've tackled in the past. You did more research on this topic in 2021 to build on what you did in 2020. Um, What is your data telling you now? Yeah, so it really is fascinating, right, in terms of how early can you plant soybeans. And it is uh, really dependent on soil conditions. If the soil is dry enough to plant corn and fit enough, uh, we have pretty good evidence now that you can plant soybeans uh, very early, right? April 20th for where I am and later, no problem at all. So to be honest with you, Bernard, we have not actually had a planting window for soybeans that's too early. So what I'm getting at is we don't even know yet how early we can go uh, and still achieve very good yields, right? So it's kind of exciting uh, in terms of trying to understand should we take advantage of that first window that comes out of the winter and get some soybeans in the ground, right? Mm-hmm. There are risks for sure, and, and there's, a, there's a bigger conversation about whether you should, but in terms of uh, the yield potential of soybeans and their ability to withstand cold soils if conditions are good with respect to dryness, then uh, we can plant soybeans pretty early, right? Let's take a quick look at your data here. Um, What have you seen over those two years of data? So here's the fascinating part, right? I just said that you can plant quite early and get away with it. But the other side of the coin is that we're also not seeing a yield benefit to super early planting, right? Unlike some of our American friends who um, have a pretty nice data set that shows basically every day that you delay planting, you lose, you know, quarter bushel, half bushel. I would frame the conversation this way. Our data set shows that there's a window in the spring where you can plant soybeans and have essentially the same yield potential right and it depends again on the year and the variety we're talking about but that window stretches probably from april 20th all the way to the middle of may may 15th there's a pretty nice window there where the last couple of years anyway we haven't seen a big decline now if you get past that window there's there starts to be a real significant yield loss in soybeans and then once you get into june it really starts to drop off and you might have as much as 20 percent less compared to planting on may 10th but there is this kind of curve right is what i'm saying so there uh i'm not one uh of those who thinks you have to plant by may 1st or you're missing five bushels the new data doesn't really doesn't really uh show that Okay, horse. Let's wrap this up with a look at uh, you know some of those other factors: um, seeding depth and seeding rate. What all changes when I decide to plant early? Yeah. So the 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 slide you're looking at now is we tried to answer that question around depth. You know, some people have suggested maybe, and some of our American friends actually recommend this. If you're planting ultra early, you should plant a little bit deeper to try and get more consistent soil temperature because there's less fluctuation with air temperature. The problem with that scenario seems to be that it's actually cooler down there and that's the last thing soybeans want. So uh, if you look at this data set here, uh, there's no evidence that we should plant deeper than one and a half inches. In fact, you know, it, it seems that one inch is equally uh, uh, it's as, as good as one and a half inches, 
regardless of planting date almost. And we're, we're going to carry this on for another year and have a really robust data set. But the long and the short of it, Bernard, is no, we don't really uh, have recommendations for ultra early that are different than our normal recommendation with respect to depth or even seeding rate, right? Good treated seed with a good fungicide on there, maybe an insecticide depending on the field. Uh, we don't even need to change seeding rate. Uh, so really, you know, stick with, stick with what you're doing on that front and it will work out just fine. Um, and, and yeah, there's a few more bushels there if you choose the right variety and you plant early compared to planting late. Well, we'll see how we'll see what happens to planting horse. Hey, always great to have you on the Soybean School. Some awesome insights. Thanks for stopping by. Great. It's been fun again. Take care.